What's up, everyone? Tara Roberts here with Win Daily, and we are talking NFL player props for Underdog for week two. I've got six props for you this week, but before we dive in, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, check out the description below for a link to sign up to play on Underdog. 100% deposit match up to $100. It's an awesome deal. So let's go ahead and dive right into the props. First, for this first pick, when looking at Ramondre Stevenson's rushing yards, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with it. I don't really feel like it's a lock either way. I think I'm more comfortable with the under, but at the same time, it's not really the prop that I'm really interested in here. Ramondre Stevenson's receiving prop is very interesting. Last week, Ramondre did everything to justify why he's such a strong third down back. His pass blocking grade for the week was excellent. He caught all six of his targets for 64 yards, and he did so against a strong defense. Now he faces Miami, an absolutely electric offense in a game that should profile for high pass volume and Stevenson should benefit. I struggle to see a scenario where Stevenson sees less than four targets, and that should be more than enough to hit the over on 23 and a half receiving yards. Staying on the running back track, Buffalo was a complete mess last week against the Jets defense on Monday, but one thing was very clear. James Cook is the lead back. Cook played the majority of snaps and had 12 carries for 46 yards and four receptions on six targets for 17 yards. Latavius Murray actually had the next highest snap count with two carries and one reception. And then there was Damian Harris, who had just one carry and, oddly enough, two receptions. Cook's stats weren't mind-blowing, but the Jets are a tough matchup. I was very encouraged with his usage, and this week he gets a far better matchup against the Las Vegas Raiders. I expect Cook to remain the lead back and crush this prop. And for reference, Javante Williams had 52 rushing yards against the Raiders last week while sharing time with Samaj P. Ryan. Just saying. I love the over on 51 and a half rushing yards here. Now, we've done a couple of overs, so let's head over to Denver for an under. Despite the fact that Russell Wilson threw two touchdowns, I was very underwhelmed by his performance last week. Let's look at the stats. 27 completions, 34 attempts, 177 yards. My problem is that was a good matchup. And instead of a high volume performance, we got under 200 passing yards and a matchup with a defense that should have been a layup. And it wasn't as if the run was the dominating force there and they just didn't need to push strong pass volume. The Broncos running backs combined for less than 100 yards. It was just an average day. The Vegas defense definitely does have some strengths, but not enough for Russell Wilson to give that underwhelming of a performance, let alone just outright get outplayed by Jimmy G. This week, Russ faces a tough Washington defense that is getting Chase Young back. I just struggle to see a better performance out of Wilson, even with the potential return of Jerry Judy. Russ's passing yards prop is at 225 and a half. I am taking the under. Now let's do a combo of two picks from the same game. Jared Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown, over 266 and a half passing yards and over 75 and a half receiving yards. I can totally understand if you are not very comfortable with the over for Jared Goff because it is lofty. And if Seattle really is that bad defensively and Detroit just jumps on top of them early, Detroit could just ease back on the pass volume, focus on the run with two very solid running backs in David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. So between the two, Goff is the riskier pick. But the Seattle defense just gave up 334 yards to Matt Stafford. High pass volume is a solid expectation for Goff. And Amonra St. Brown at over 75 and a half receiving yards is the perfect combination. St. Brown had just 71 yards in week one, but Kansas City's defense is formidable. Seattle is dealing with injuries in their secondary. St. Brown should absolutely thrive. Puka Nakua had 119 receiving yards last week against Seattle in his first game ever in the NFL. I cannot wait to see St. Brown attack this secondary. And one final pick is Keenan Allen, over 75 and a half receiving yards. Some things never change. 
And one thing that definitely did not change from 2022 is the fact that Tennessee's pass defense is awful. In week one, they allowed 305 passing yards to Derek Carr. Justin Herbert should absolutely tear them up, and Keenan Allen should be the main beneficiary. The Chargers will likely be without Austin Eckler, and attacking the Titans on the ground is just typically a fruitless effort. Expect a big day from Herbert and Keenan Allen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And remember, sign up to play on Underdog today. The link is in the description below. 100% deposit match up to $100.